Time now for the Friend Zone. We welcome someone from inside the building, one of our friends, onto the show. Tonight's guest is Charles Payne, host of Making Money with Charles Payne on Fox Business. This man has grandchildren, which is shocking. So I want to ask you about your wife, who is famous here at Fox because she makes you a three-course lunch every day, which you bring to work in a lunchbox. It's hard to believe how sweet that is, but it's, that's real. It's real. It's a three-tier lunchbox. It's, uh, I saw it in a movie called Lunchbox. It's an Indian thing. It's amazing. And the bottom tray is your main course, usually something I hate up, but it could be like beef with the onions or lasagna or anything like that. It's pretty good. It helps, it helps you stop from snacking. I'm just so impressed. That's really, <laughs> really sweet. But your wife had pretty significant, profoundly significant health trouble and overcame it. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, she's a heart transplant recipient. Uh, it's been over four years. And, you know, it's, it was a remarkable story in the sense that she was just about done. I mean, when I say just about done, she, she had a device called an LVAT. And an LVAT is uh, where they take a, a, a device, they jam it into your left ventricle. A cord sticks out of your stomach, that's connected to the brains of it, and then that's plugged into external power. It does 75% of the work of the heart, but hers was doing 85% of the work. It's so medieval, this thing, that they say, hey, you know what, um, make sure you talk to someone before you get this, if you know anyone, because very few people have had it, it is rough, you stay alive, but it pay, you pay a cost. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you who she spoke to. A friend of mine in, 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 in Wyoming was his real good friends with Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney had the same thing. I called my friend. He said, give me a minute. 20 minutes later, Dick Cheney called my wife and spoke to her for 40 minutes. That's unbelievable. They, I left the room. I came back. She said they cried. They prayed. And um, the next day, there was an article in the Daily News by Mike Lupica that said Dick Cheney was the most evil man in the world. <laughs> so, well, not surprised. Could you imagine that? But like the former vice president, your wife got a heart transplant in the end, and it made all the difference. Who was it from? It was from a, a good friend of mine's daughter. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, Sammy Kraft, that's her right there. A beautiful, she was 20 years old at the time, uh, just a beautiful young girl. She was an actress, singer. In fact, the, the movie Bad News Bears, yes. it was remade. She was a star. The, the Tatum O'Neill role, it was her role with Bob, Billy Bob Thornton. And uh, so I was, filling, I, was, I was filling in for Stuart Varney. We were on commercial break. I'm looking at my emails, and I get an email from her father. He says, my daughter's dead, and I want Yvonne to have the heart. Oh. Yeah, but it was crazy, Tucker, because we had to go through so much red tape, and initially they said, you can't have the heart. So the next day I was driving home. The phone rings. My wife is crying hysterically. I said, what's wrong? She said, they said, I can have the heart. So we went straight to JFK, LAX, and the next day she got the heart of Cedar Sinai. That's unbelievable. And yeah. one of your grandchildren is named after the girl. Yes, our, our youngest uh, granddaughter, Sammy, is named after Sammy. That's, Sammy that's, an, ama that's an amazing story, yeah. legitimately. Charles, yeah. thank you. Thanks a lot.